Hello, my beautiful hair lounge community. Coming at you, not from the hair lounge. I am in my bathroom. And the reason why is because we are gonna talk all about Sunless Tanner. I have come across an amazing new beauty line called Standout Beauty. And they have every single thing you need to achieve a super amazing tan. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. All right, you guys, let's be honest. Who has suffered from orange streaky looking tan? Cause I know I have, I love being bronzed and just makes me feel super, super beautiful. But I have bought stuff from grocery stores and I put it on and it is not good. I looked very Oompa Loompa. I've had kind of the dry spots on my body just not look right. And this tanner from Standout Beauty does not do that. They have two different types of tanners medium or dark i chose the dark if you need help whatsoever choosing what color you probably need for your skin leave me a question down below i will guide you on which color would be the right for you but i chose dark because i like that super bronze caribbean look but i'm going to show you what is inside this bag like i said it has everything you need so this is a nice little waterproof bag that zips up and there's tons of goodies in here so as you can see, I look a hot mess. That's because you need to really prep your skin before you apply a tanner. So there is an amazing exfoliating glove. That way you can really scrub all that dead skin off your body where you're gonna be applying the tanner. After you exfoliate, make sure you shave or shave before you exfoliate. So you wanna make sure that you are prepping your skin for kind of the long haul. Many of you know when you are shaving your skin, you're removing those dead skin cells, so make sure you shave before you do it. So shave everywhere, exfoliate everywhere with this glove, and then you get out of the shower and you do not put anything else on. No lotion, no deodorant, no moisture on your face. You're gonna just be bare. And then it's all about the tanning mousse. So there's two different systems in this actual tanning kit. This one is called sunset and this is the tanning mousse this is a violet based tanner so then you're going to be able to see where you're putting it on your skin so it's nice and easy so you're not missing any spots because i know i've done that before i think i get it everywhere then later i look and i have a white looking spot leave me a comment down below if that is you and hey you guys if you're liking what you see now is a perfect time to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other videos okay now i said it's a two-part so this is sunrise and this is a very lightweight tan extender moisturizer it is clear when it comes out but this is perfect to extend that tan to really moisturize that skin and this is what's going to keep your tan looking nice for five to seven days this is also what i use on my face whenever i want my face to look tan or my hands or my feet it's not a super dark color i like to think of it as if you're using like a jergens lotion um, and it has just a tiny bit of tint to it that's what this tan extender does if you end up getting the dark tanning mousse but you don't want to be super dark say it's early on into the season like it is right now you can mix these two together to get a lighter color which is really nice and i'm going to tell you there's 190 pumps in the sky. So you normally do, depending on your body size, two pumps per limb, I guess I should say, or body part. And so roughly you're gonna be getting three months out of this, depending on how often you like to reapply. And then you can't forget, you have to be able to apply it. So we have a application mitt. And what's really nice on the inside, it is waterproof. So you're not gonna get that orange palm or kind of funky look to your hand because you have this amazing application mitt. Another thing is it's very velvety. So if you've ever bought very cheap tanning applicators, they kind of will fuzz off and you'll get kind of little black, little fuzzy things on you. This does not do it. So you guys, I'm gonna go shower, exfoliate and shave, and I'm gonna come back and apply with you so you can see exactly how I apply this tan. If you like what you see so far, give me a thumbs up and I'll be back in my bathing suit.
Oh, all right, you guys, I have finished showering, shaving everything. Nothing is on my body whatsoever, and we're gonna start tanning. One of the things you need to remember is always start at the bottom. So I always start at the lower part of my leg and then work my way up. That way, if you bend over and you're trying to do kind of the lower half of your leg, you're gonna get weird creases. So you always start at the very bottom of your body and then work everything on up. So let's get into it. You're gonna get kind of a different angle of me because I wanna make sure you can see the application. So my head may be cut off every once in a while, but that's okay. All right, again, so here is our sunset tan. This is in dark. And then I always like to do two pumps for like the lower half of my body. If you don't want it to be super dark, I wouldn't do two pumps. I would just do, you know, maybe one pump. But with this product, a little goes a long way. So we're gonna do one, two. And as you can see, it has kind of that violet base to it. So when you are applying, you know exactly where it's going. So again, we're gonna start on this lower half. And I always do my feet and my knees last. So I kind of just put it, all over and then we start rubbing it in as you can see you can see the dots and they're very purple and you can see where the product is going and it's all about tiny little circles and just really making sure you are getting it all over when you go around your ankles you do just want to kind of softly rub that down into your leg and just using kind of like a gentle touch you don't want to do a lot on your ankles until the very end. It's literally all about all those little circles and really blending everything together. Okay, when I get most of the product blended in, then I bend my knee and take whatever's left over on my mitt and really kind of rub it into my knee and then same thing with the back of my knee, I straighten my leg out and I make sure I really just rub all of that product in. So we're gonna get another pump and we are gonna do that kind of up on my upper body. You can see kind of where my shorts tan line is and we are just gonna kind of blend that into my hip. A little bit more and I'm gonna do kind of the inner part of my thigh and it is just all about blend 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 it's almost like you're applying your foundation you just want to make sure you're blending everything in so you don't have any kind of weird funky spots and then I take whatever's left over on my mitt and I'm just going over the tops of my feet, around my ankle, on my heel really good. And you can feel there's a little bit of product on here, but not a lot. And that's exactly what I want. Okay, so there is a look at my legs. You can definitely see this side is a little bit darker than my left side. You can see the difference, you can still see my short line, but that's okay, it does blend. Now let's move over to the left leg. Okay, now the same thing, just a couple pumps onto our mitt, and we start on this other leg. So tell me where you guys are watching me from. I have never asked where all of my subscribers are from, and I would love to know where you guys are from. Many of you know I live in Idaho and we are having a wild crazy storm today so I hope you guys can't hear it on camera. Every once in a while you can hear the wind really blowing and Idaho is just like that. You wait five seconds and the weather changes. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm 
the legs are done. I will be sure to do a before and after picture for you. I'll put that right here. That way you guys can see the full effect. Now we're going to move on to our upper body. Normally this is where you would do your stomach, kind of your back, all that. Obviously I have my bathing suit on, so we're not going to do that. Now we're going to do our arms. My arms obviously are not as big as my legs, so I do kind of half pumps on there. And exactly the same thing. What are you guys thinking about this color buildup? It's so gorgeous. So after you get your tanner on, we normally suggest you do this tanner right before you go to bed and then sleep in it. So you sleep in it and you let it develop for eight hours. And then in the morning, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get in the shower and you're just gonna rinse off because obviously it does have a little bit of color to it. You can see that violet base to it. And so you're going to get all of that kind of bronze look to your tan or the stain on your tan off. And then the rest of the actual tan will stay on. And then you can use your tan extender. One nice thing with this is it does not come off on your sheets. If you are a very sweaty sleeper, you may notice some will come off, but it all depends on if you sleep hot. Kind of go around the armpit. You don't want to forget that chicken wing part. Or else you start looking a little funny. Okay, and then you take the leftover and put it on your hands. So if you do end up wanting to actually use soap on that first rinse, you can. Just know your tan probably won't last as long. You may get more five days out of it. But if every single day you wake up and you use that tan extender, the sunrise, you are gonna notice your tan stays for a while. You guys may have been able to tell, I did have the tan on me before and so it was probably about five days since I had applied so I wasn't quite due but I definitely wanted to show you guys how awesome this tan was okay look at the difference I want you guys to hit that like button if you like bronze skin better than lighter whiter skin for some reason I think I'm sure many of you have heard this but if you can't tone it tan it um, you just don't notice as many of your imperfections, your cellulite, stretch marks, anything like that when your skin is a little bit more sun-kissed or bronze. So that's why I like to have a little bit of a um, bronze look to my skin because it kind of hides all those imperfections. And let's be honest, the sun is not good for you. I love being outside i will be honest i'm not super good about wearing sunscreen but normally it's because i like my skin to have kind of a little bit of a tone to it but now that i have this sunless tanner maybe i will do better this is a perfect way to look like you went to the beach without actually going to the beach and not damaging your skin because that's one thing we should not be doing so as you can see, I have a little bit of a tan. I did mow the grass. So I do have a tan up underneath my arms from mowing my grass. Okay, now we'll get the chest. And while I'm getting the chest, I'm gonna tell you, if you are single or you don't have anybody to apply the tanner to your back, there is some very cool tan applicators or lotion applicators on Amazon and I will link one down below for you just in case you're going to need a little bit of help to get the back. Normally what I do is I have my husband help me and apply it on my back and he is not, he's nervous about applying it but there's never any streaks on my back because this stuff is so easy to apply. 
Okay, so like I said, I'll have him do my back, but now do you wanna see how I do my face? So now it's all about face application. You can use the Sunset, which is the tanning mousse on your face if you want to, but I personally don't like when my face is super, super dark looking. So this is when I use the Sunrise. Again, this is the clear moisturizing tan extender, but it does have a little bit of color to it. So I use a brush and I just apply this all over my face. Again, you can also use this on your hands and your feet if you want to. And don't forget, this is the stuff that you apply every single morning to prolong that sunless tanner and make it look super, super nice and natural. So let's do it on my face. Look at how easy that was. So I have gotten a few questions from people. I do sell this tanner, so I will put my link down below if you do wanna get this tanner. But since I sell it, I have had customers ask me kind of little questions about it. One of the number one questions people ask is, does it smell like normal tanning products? And the answer is no. When you put it on your skin, the tanning mousse does not have a smell to it. You do not smell anything. It's kind of weird, but it's nice because then it doesn't make you smell like you just got like a spray tan or you're just in the tanning bed. The tan extender, which is the clear stuff that I put on my face and you use every single day, has a very light coconut smell. It's not a super strong smell of coconut. It's just very, very mild. And that is really it. It doesn't have a smell beyond that. Another thing is, is can you instantly put your clothes on? Like, am I going to get color on my clothes? I will say you want to let it dry for 30 minutes. I did make the mistake once of putting on a sports bra right after my tan, and I did notice that the tan did rub off. So you do not want to wear anything super, super tight and constricting. You want to put on some like a baggy t-shirt, grab your husband's old t-shirt and some like really baggy shorts and just let it dry for 30 minutes. And again, it does not come off on your sheets if you do let it dry that 30 minutes, unless you're a sweaty sleeper. I'm a sweaty sleeper, but I will use dark sheets and I haven't noticed anything on my sheets at all. If you guys have any questions whatsoever that you've thought of, leave those down in the comment box below and I will answer those questions for you. And you guys, what do you think? It looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. I'm gonna go grab my husband, have him do my back so that way I don't walk around with no tan on my back. And then I am going to drop before and after photos down below of my body when before I actually use this tanner. That way you can see how deep this tan really does get. It's super, super beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you want to follow me on any of my social media, I have a TikTok account that I like to put some hair tips and tricks on there. And also you can always add me on Instagram or Facebook. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.